All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an image to an image that's already open in Photoshop. Uh, this is one of a four part series and the basics of Photoshop. So if you want to see these other ones, just look in the playlist for those. But we are going to go here, which is in the learn tab of Photoshop. So let me click that. Now it should open just like mine if you're following along and you can hit start tutorial. Now this will show you through the steps, but I'm just going to ignore that because I know the steps already and it's easier to follow with video. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in another image. Right now we have this background image, which is great. It's one layer, but we need another image to go with it. So I'm going to go to file and I'm going to do place embedded. All right. And I could uh, just find an image uh, of mine. So here's a picture of my son in California and I'm going to bring that in. Now, of course, it's too big right now. If I go to the move tool um, right here on the left side, there is a show transform controls. If I click that to turn it on, it brings up this box. So I'm able to resize it now probably won't fit perfectly. I can try to line it up. I can even use my arrow keys to make kind of fine tune adjustments there. Um, but you can see it's not quite fitting. So I'm going to have to go a little bit beyond it. And maybe I want it actually a little bigger as well. Anyways, now, um, that works. I'm going to hit enter to place it, or I can hit this check mark up here and that looks okay, I guess, but the shadows don't line up or anything. So I'm actually going to turn this layer off for a second, hitting this eyeball here on the right side. And I'm going to click on the background. Uh, after I do that, I'm going to make use my magic wand and I can just click once and it's going to grab all the white there. And I am going to hit the delete button. Now I could use a mask, um, and, but I'm just going to hit delete. Okay. Now you'll see that it's showing through that the transparency underneath. I am going to pull my other image under it now. So if I turn it back on and just simply drag it under it, that would place it in that spot. And I could do control D to deselect. And now that image is in there. So this works really well. Um, I can then grab my image still and use my move tool. If I don't like how it's placed, I can still resize it in there. Um, maybe I want to zoom in a little more. Maybe I want to adjust it. I can, again, I can use the arrow keys to kind of fine tune it. But if I'm happy with that, I hit enter and um, I can click off it to see what it looks like. And I think that looks pretty good. So if you're happy with that, go for it. Uh, to make it a little more natural, you could actually add some like interior shadow. Um, but there you go. So again, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then you can, I have a playlist showing how to do these other three things. Um, just click back on the playlist to see those as well. Thank you.